The NAB show is extremely important for us because this is the place where everyone meets when it comes to content provider, technology providers, and for us, it's also like important to understand what are the needs for the content industry. I really think that today we come to a point where all the technologies are there. The big question is that how fast can we put these ingredients together, but uh, no one came up with a defined like workflow how to really assemble all these ingredients together, and this is what we are trying to do at Farnofer. The thing about virtual reality is you really need to think from the very first step, the capturing. The second step would be the production. Then you need to distribute this signal, and finally you need to play back these signals on the end device where you need a technology to render over headphones, which is our Singo technology. With Singo, we take any number of input sources placed anywhere in the virtual environment and transform this signal into a stereo signal for headphones. We trick the brain in a way that the people can perceive sound coming from outside the head, from any type of directions or distances. You can already find our technologies on those mobile devices such as the Samsung Gear VR as well as Hulu which is an OTT provider here in the USA uh, which is also using high efficiency AC codec together with Fraunhofer Single. Fraunhofer has a long tradition in providing audio technologies for broadcast and uh, we have here the latest technology of Fraunhofer for broadcasting in TV which is MPEG-H and MPEG-H 3D audio is the next generation audio codec in combination with the new 4K picture and high dynamic range picture. There is a complete new experience for the user where he can really feel to be there in the scene instead of just watching TV. One of the important news here at the NAB show for TV broadcast business are the encoders we have developed together with Korean manufacturers, especially for the Korean market. These support the complete MPEG-8 standard and are the first in the market and will help us to introduce MPEG-H into the Korean TV market.